Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about the uh, superchargers, supercharging network, the Tesla supercharging network. Uh, before I do that, I am going to link um, a video or two that I made a year ago and, and more. Just talking about that, I remember when the Chevy Bolt came out like the concept came out and I maintain that a car like that a 200 miles plus car in order for people to buy it in mass numbers it needs to have it needs to have a reliable long distance long distance uh, fast charging network now no car company consciously no car company except for Tesla consciously um, uh, investing in fast charging network, whether it's a partnership on their own with government, nothing, nothing. The the charging station, whether it's a, a ego or whether it's um, I don't know, whatever charge point, whatever that is, all of those, all of those uh, public chargers are owned by individual companies. Okay, who you know you pay you pay you pay per use and that's nice and that's great that's wonderful uh, GE has one they all, all kinds of them uh, I have a co membership with several of them but only Tesla is a conscious a consciously build elect only electric cars with a fast charging network and destination network now that was all good and well when it was only about the Model S, Model X, which are high-end luxury uh, sedans and SUVs for high-income people. But when the Tesla Model 3 came out, the concept came out and deliveries started to be, I mean, uh, as results started to be made, I am one of them, then the key for that, for that success is to have a lot more uh, uh, long distance uh, charging stations but not only that also to have a uh, local charging stations for people living in the cities because most of the people live in the cities okay so here's for example I go to New York City all the time and there are a lot of um, garages and places where can you charge your car but they are so extremely unreliable that in my experience in Manhattan there's like two or three uh, garages and places you know that if you go there you will be able to park and charge your car I've been to so many the always other cars parked in uh, the guys who run the garages then nobody speaks English obviously and they they're like can you move the car can nothing they just don't care they don't know they have no no understanding or concept of of, of, of this uh, so whoever in installing their the, this uh, chargers there, they don't um, make sure that this actually can be free and for use. So the, char the the and I'm not talking about long char long distance charging. I'm talking about local. If I live in the city, if I lived in the city right now, unless my garage had a spot where I can charge my car every single day, I would not be able to have a pure electric car. I can only have, let's say, maybe a plug-in hybrid, which I can charge whenever. What, what's the point of buying it if you cannot charge it? You know what I mean? So what Tesla is doing, and if you look, I, I put a map of the future Tesla uh, uh, public chargers, even if, it's, even if it's for fee, that's fine. If that come to, to reality, that is incredible. That is a real plan for people to, who do not live in a single home like I do or even in a condo if you have a garage or whatever uh, for those masses for those millions of people a plug-in hybrid or pure electric car is useless if they cannot charge it and, and they have to be able to know that they can charge it every night there's a place for them to go so I look this morning for example and the I look every month on the um, and the plug-in hybrid and the uh, and the um, uh, pure electric uh, sales, and every month consistently it goes up and up and up and up and up. But and it's great and it's fantastic. It's still very tiny percentage of the overall um, uh, car sales in America. 
but the only way this can we can turn the corner and have massive amount of people millions of people who are looking for a new car or looking to trade in their car to go into this market is to have a reliable predictable uh, charging local charging in, in, in cities and towns where people live in live in apartments and things like that because that's where most of the people live New York City only Manhattan has like 8 million people so you're talking about uh, maybe 15 to 20 million people potential buyers in one city you can extrapolate that to all the cities in America that for them to have a car like this they need to have quote unquote a, a local gas station where can they fill in the car in fast not only uh, a level two and fast on the go so they can they can be able to to uh, be able to uh, use a car like this so for somebody like me who live in a suburb in a single home with a two car garage I can have as many electric cars as I want I, I charge at home and I charge at work but people live in the city don't have it so that's why this Tesla concept and God bless Tesla and, and God bless Elon Musk and everybody who, who, who does these things uh, uh, to expand rapidly uh, uh, the local not only long distance which already exists but local and side roads well, quote unquote the secondary road charging so now you can have millions of people going because as of now Tesla charger superchargers in certain locations are crowded I'm going to be in the West Coast next month and I'm going to survey the entire West Coast um, from uh, San Francisco to Vancouver I am going to um, um, uh, survey that to see how crowded they are I did the same thing in the East Coast so anyhow what I'm trying to tell you is that the reason in my opinion the reason why why electric cars especially pure electric cars are not taking off dramatically I mean they are it's every month it's more and more and more and that's great but the only way is for a massive local and secondary road as I say as I as you say uh, 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 chargers and not only that quick chargers quick chargers I nobody's gonna sit for two hours three hours to charge the car you want to go in and out 10 15 minutes to get a boost and go so conclusion what what Tesla is doing what the plan is, is you look you look at the map you see it's like a tremendous amount of the plan the plan is to, to expand the the charging the char supercharging network in a local and secondary world so that's great so that's the that's the point let's have a discussion please um, like this video give me a thumbs up and share it that's always good and subscribe to my channel like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and all that stuff and help me change the world one electric vehicle at the time of a great week everybody and it's great to be back in the United States after my trip so let's talk more